It's been some time since E3, but don't think we've forgotten Sonic Boom just yet. Two trailers were released during the show, one for each version, so it's about time we put them through the old analysis machine to see what kind of secrets and hidden details it could find. But we'll be keeping it solely focused on the trailers, since we've got a pretty clear idea on how the games play thanks to the playable demos on the show floor. With that said, let's get started. The E3 trailer gave us our first good look at the new villain for the games, Lyric, but there actually seems to be some build-up to his appearance in the Wii U version. There are shots of ruins and statues before he shows up in the trailer. What's interesting is that the statues look to resemble ancient hedgehogs, not the ancient echidnas like in the main Sonic universe. This might be why Lyric seems to recognize Sonic when he awakens. Perhaps he was sealed away thanks to the efforts of an ancient hedgehog. Or maybe he knows Sonic because he's met Sonic before. It sounds strange, but there's a door in the trailer that makes multiple appearances from different angles. But one of the best looks at it depicts what seems to be Lyric in a circle, while a blue hedgehog and a yellow two tailed fox run below. Just who are these two? They almost look like the classic versions of Sonic and Tails. Is it possible that time travel is involved somehow? There's been no hint of it at all, but the appearance of a two tailed fox makes us think that it might be the case. After all, there have been multiple hedgehogs throughout the Sonic franchise, but Tails is the only one with two tails that can fly. But that also begs the question, where are Knuckles and Amy on this mural? If there is time travel, is it only Sonic and Tails that go back? Or is this some kind of reference back to the main series since Sonic and Tails do look like their classic counterparts? We're not exactly sure, but we do think that this place is toward the beginning of the game. They're all fighting robots in front of it while the door is closed, and if we look closely, we can see that there's some kind of lock on it that depicts a handprint. Maybe, as the robots overwhelm them, they try the door and have to run in as we see in this one scene. Inside is where they find Lyric, and it's Sonic's fault that he's revived. After all, as the villain's coming out of stasis, everyone looks at Sonic. Could his apparent arrogance cause Lyric to come back? There's also this mysterious carving. It doesn't seem to depict Lyric or anyone else. It's just holding a giant circle above its head. Or maybe it's a giant ring. But it's the rings on the carving's wrist that have us curious. After all, there is a certain black hedgehog that wears rings in that way. But even if it is Shadow, why would there be ancient carvings of him? That is, unless they're changing his origin dramatically for the Sonic Boom universe. Along with some scant story details, the trailer revealed a few new areas in the game. One of which is an ominous mountain with thick thorny vines. There's little else to see of this stage, but it does continue to show that the game will have a mix of organic and technological levels. But it's one of the speed stages that really shows things off. Just as Sonic and the others are going over this huge waterfall, you can see an incredibly wide view of the world. This likely isn't all of it, but at the very least you can see where the speed path is going to take you. However, we couldn't help but wonder if one of the rock formations on the left could be a future level. There are ledges jutting out from the side, making it perfect for platforming. It's entirely possible that everything down below is completely explorable. As they continue down the waterfall, we can see another opportunity to take a branching path. There's a floating square in the middle with another on the left. A spring-like device seems to be on them as well, meaning that they could bounce you to some new path. The developers of Big Red Button did point out that they wanted multiple pathways during the speed sections, so this could definitely be an example of that. Another speed section shows off another gimmick. Sonic and the others seem to be chasing a blue ball of light. As it goes along, it crashes into the environment to create hazards that need to be dodged. While the obstacles themselves seem to be the same as before in this small example, it does show that how they'll come to be will change. But the most exciting example of a speed stage comes in the new area with pipes and lava all around. Sonic is going around a set path, but there are details in the background. Mainly, it shows a flat area with what looks to be enemies all around and on the right side is a wall that can be climbed by Knuckles. Up until this point, it seemed like the adventure stages were completely separate from the speed stages, but they might be more integrated than we initially thought. Along with all the adventuring is the new combat, and while the demo made it seem like there was only a few moves to choose from, the trailer shows off some completely new attacks. The first is from Sonic, where he jumps into the air and charges up before slamming into the robot. There's an amusing little animation flub in here, though. Because Sonic directly hits the robot, the cracks from this attack appear in the air while Sonic drops through them. But this also makes the attack more effective, as not only does Sonic hit the robot, but the shockwave that comes after does further damage to it. Another new move is Sonic performing a fast dash into an enemy that sends it flying back. This seems to hint that as the game goes on, the combat will expand to allow for new and more effective moves. And some look to integrate the signature speed that Sonic is known for. Up until this point, we've seen Sonic teamed up with each character as they work through levels. Tails and Amy might go off together, but you don't actually play as them during the demo. 
So why is there a scene in the trailer that only shows Amy, Tails, and Knuckles preparing to face down a horde of robots? Could there be times where there's no option to play as Sonic at all? It's not like the other characters are helpless though. We see a bit of Tails' combat, namely his ability to throw bombs. They seem to be integrated into a combo system much like the other characters as he actually throws different bombs. The first two appear to be cherry bombs, while the last is already on fire as he throws it. This hints at a combo system determining what Tails actually throws. The only other attack we see from Tails shows him pulling out a firework launcher to shoot several different fireworks at enemies, so Tails is definitely all about the explosions. And speaking of explosions, we get another look at a new robot. It looks to be a flamethrower type bot judging from the two tanks on top and the fire coming from its exhaust, but it looks much bigger than the enemy robots we've seen up to this point. Could this be a mini boss? Then there's the boss fight with Lyric himself. There's no way to tell if this is the final fight or if you could face off against him multiple times like with Eggman. However, it does seem to have a different pattern compared to what we saw of boss fights in the demo. In there, players would use the Ener Beam to throw objects at the boss in order to make it vulnerable to a combo. However, here we see four separate paths behind Lyric, each one suited to each character's special abilities. Perhaps each character has to go through these paths in turn in order to somehow weaken Lyric. It would be a good combination of fighting a boss while platforming. What's curious though is the little flying bot that's off to the side. Could this actually be controlled by Eggman? And is he on Lyric's side during this fight? Or Sonic's? That's everything that we could find in the Rise of Lyric E3 trailer, but there's also the 3DS's Shattered Crystal trailer. It's the first time we've seen gameplay for this version, though it was playable. Most of what's shown in this trailer was demonstrated during the demo. For instance, every character has access to the homing attack and the Ener Beam, though they each have their differences. Sonic can dash through special blocks and runs the fastest. Tails can fly thanks to wind currents and throw sticky bombs at enemies. Knuckles is the slowest but most powerful and can also dig through special patches of dirt. And Styx can either throw her boomerang at enemies or guide it along to hit far off switches. There's even a small scene that plays showing that Lyric has captured Amy, Knuckles, Tails, and Styx. And thanks to our interview with the lead designer of the game, we know that Sonic eventually rescues all of them except Amy, and this gives players the ability to explore new areas and old levels. But there are small things to note about the trailer that are hidden within. For one, when Tails is throwing bombs at enemies, he actually has a shield around him, so it looks like some of the classic elements like energy shields are indeed back. The same can be said of rail grinding, which we see Knuckles do at one point. The biggest reveal though comes during the new rival races. For various reasons, Sonic will have to race against other characters to a finish line. Up until this point, it was only Styx that Sonic was shown racing, but here we can clearly see the reveal of Sonic Boom's version of Metal Sonic. This raises a number of questions. Does Metal Sonic debut in Shattered Crystal, or will he appear in Rise of Lyric too? Who will create Metal Sonic? Will it be Eggman, or will Lyric be the one to do it in this universe? And who else could Sonic race against? Could we see other Sonic staples make their appearance during rival races? There's still so much we don't know about Sonic Boom, but we're looking forward to how it all fits together. But that's everything we could find in the E3 trailers for both versions of Sonic Boom. Of course, if we missed anything, please let us know in the comments. If you liked this video, be sure to like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter at GameXplain. Thanks for watching and make sure to stay tuned to GameXplain for more on Sonic Boom and other things gaming too.